The Heinemann Podcast, interview with Kylie Beers about the second edition of when, What Teachers Can Do. In this second edition, Kylie to talk about over the past 20 years, what new material is included speaks to the urgency. And after their conversation for a chapter of the audiobook for Can't Read, Sex a transcript of this episode at Heinemann.com. Hi, Kylie. Oh. It's so good to see you. I did to talk about this beautiful read. I wanted to start more concepts in the book, Skill for All. Can you tell me? You know, Michelle, when the first edition read a little over, I knew reading was, reading was important. I don't dismiss the, but one thing that's happened in the 20 years edition and is I've come to under this very long connection, strong reading of kids and a strong in our country. And wrote that first edition. I knew that it was, but I didn't really out every day. And now what I recommend with the rest comes at us. But every, just every hour, almost as quickly as you, your computer, you've been coming at you. The ability to fully responsively, Michelle, is we default to the loudest voice, loudest voice coming in headsets. When individuals, someone else, giving up our time, looking at do second edition, did in the first edition, creating this kiss independent. He is not about a certain, it's about a kid who how to question fully, thoroughly, and make his or her. Yes, I love that. And I'm creating an independent reader. Mm -hmm. Why should teachers, kids can't read? And I, I would love to hear a couple about that you articulate. In the no, I, I think one thing. Important to me, the origin of the second edition. It began as Brad were sitting evening and he glanced over the first edition, minding its own business. And, and he went over to me and he said, This book will be 20 years old. It was that is, you know, we did not end. And how did that happen? You've never done a second. Why don't you think about doing And then he looked at me in books because he said, this, And I said, there's nothing in a chair writing a book. And I couldn't get that thought because person I am now and as a writer and as a member than I was ago when I was writing that first thought, it's to reading to let sit. As, and so one of the things I want was say hearing has changed. Oh, so one thing, Michelle, that I read times in second edition, I let that was in the first edition a, in a sidebar in paragraph. And, you know, this is what I was thinking. Here's how my thinking has evolved. Live in a time mind makes, and that's just wrong. People learn more, change. One of the things can do for us change. So I own thinking into my mind and say, show how I'm changed hypocrite. So through sometimes teachers will see has changed because I come on that journey. Love that. I love then we're willing to leave the space to do it on the, me the space to do it in the book a little bit longer it, in the long run. There's recognize there. That's one of the big thing. The first edition is I'm making my lot more visible to thinking than I think it was. I've also never considered put, I have a, it's a best practice using the term best ago and now the term. And yet with 20 teachers, what's a practice? I'm pretty much going to guess. And so we take at understand makes the best practice. Means, you know, to get labeled here are their understanding to do with kids for sure. Know their kids context and what is a kid actually might be another kid. So it was discussed in the didn't have near on helping and that zone of being able to comprehend a tech. My son keeps reminding second edition. It, he says, mom, you know, a set comes out three of you've updated some title research. He said, and as he's, he's right. Structure of the book and a section on, and on engagement saying, but what is my understanding? within each of those. Yeah. Um, one specific about was why, for instance, I'm using the term strategy scaffolding. There's, But that's just one that I was curious. I'm about. glad you picked up on that. when I first wrote read on some depth, 
between a strategy and a comprehension pro- strategy being brings our think visible level. And in the 20 year between first and is that the word um, incredible. So search on was made to unking that was happening. And so if you want, if a kid can visit a comprehension process, then you might have a G sketch so that you're seeing, which is a reflection of what, the, what they're thinking. Nowadays, a strategy, remembering to carry you, you know, his pencil off his desk. A strategy, that's a, so because the word is used, I've decided just step into that fray. All anything that would teach to Kim understand a text fold. Now, to do is design and within her school language. For, and if they're setting all these things strategies, then that's all explained in the first. Thank you. Uh, are there other big that you want to touch upon? So, Michelle, I love about, you know, weeks that are handled in. And, and because it was, and I kept asking my book because it is 418 page. It's really meant to help to understand maybe four areas, why that we improve kids across all the content. Second area being kids understand better. And I divide attention into the simple before reading, during, and then there's that I call word work. We look at spelling, phonics with fluency and eating rate, all must be in play. Comprehension can take finally an area is critical. How do I want to pick up a book? It's a book that they don't want to. I mean, I don't know about you. There are things I have to read, you know, the newest novel. How do I, uh, to help my text, that means I really would read. One of the part over from the is begins and in George. And that's one of the most uh, pieces in the first did not want to lose it. George is a, and that is his real, I taught my teaching. He was the, that really realized that as a secondary teacher, I didn't know helping a kid sitting and didn't know how to read. Just this delight was also integrated, embarrassed at being in seventh grade, do what all of his peers much more ease. I start and end after with a letter to some of the letters from the first edition, because incredibly important letter of the letters in this second. So, I mean, you to me and said, George. And so here's all of the letters come from up that first year on what I know. Mostly that's what, but what I was trying. I love that. I love that to George and George Constant. There's a t- teacher I'm sure can identify. Every teacher tells me, George, and the kid's age may be different. The, gen- the setting may every kid at some point a text. A readers can be what they're reading and in front of their teacher. And, and that was that teacher's. I think, you know, one thing when kids can't read a handbook, but it's art. Because we cannot look as simply a place that better at something so we can longer we continue, the more we will have apathetically in what we need to do. Kids as these generous, genius people, then I think joy in the book helps. hundred percent. You, it is to see kids to around understanding what kids that he absolutely came through. Ask Kyleen and one the teachers maintain a reading and can when kids can't read this and this. I know you've very specific things you would add here. You know, Shell, when I think a bit of a classroom, how many things, where's the teacher's desk, desk, I think of, of the kid room and the classroom, right? And about all the challenges as these are beginning to say they don't want some books in classroom, censorship that I never need 23, we would. And so when you, how do we maintain a reader? First thing I think is kids become readers. If they, I live in Texas, there's not a single foot who's going to say, I'm going to call players. We're just not going to happen. Say, I don't need just a lot of footballs. We're here running some player, practicing catchbacks over here, practicing a lot of different kids. So in a classroom, I'm going to see just a book. I want because lots of different needs will address. 
So the important to me is, are there reading? And with that, all the books in the world, I'm to read them. Much sense is the got in another room here and bought it. But by God, when I actually get on it, until I make the go get on it or that it's sitting there, it's access to give them time to read. And the teacher has what is going kids are reading and where uh, and kids can't read what to have them steps in as you're sitting individuals are small large group before they begin kind of lessons kids as they so a reading environment thing it's and I those things when they come teachers create Eileen we're excited when kids can't read the second I look back and I don't believe and I'm just curious to know what that is yeah, this was time, the audio version of think that any time you listen and read along goes up. So Brett, the and said, let's do, I loved that. And yet I was with that, Michelle, a lot of teachers know a breast cancer survivor in you to be on. Um, that's what keeps me. And I have a side effect of chemo, I've, and then I have a effect, which is a for absolutely, I can begin to lose. And so when Brett said an audio version, because it's a long book, and thought, how am I going to? And then I daughter, who all grown up lives in, and she sounds a little. And so we ask Mary of the main, then I'm the reader to George, her brief was sitting. It was a experience. Thanks for asking. Lean, this has been an honor with you. I've so envision of your work and thinking. So it's always you're very kind, Michelle. And thank you for giving me to begin talking about read what teachers shall. Chapter two. What read? One day you was so important. More. If as an adult you expect news and the long movies, so you could as movies, and you waited patient. I don't remember, but I know you walked away. I'll be just fine. Be the people we are if we, in part, thus consider complex ideas. to imagine understanding article insights about breast cancer, world hunger, a com- or information about only through oral lectures and discover I can't in tasks. But us understand complex reading helps us become better of ourselves entered the world of books, be less, experience other times, and at land alongside others. This reading experiences are and offer us the genetic and compassion. Perhaps reading helps us resist mill by others. Then someone other than a car salesperson has the opportunity and tell us what that person we need to know. Worse than the inability to read but re- particular type of reading, sensible and responsive. Between 2002, Bob Probst and I about the importance of creating and responsive reader. Responsive Bob and I defined as those who attend to who do not attribute to does not say is evidence in the text justifiable conclusion when emotions are awakened, compassion out. Responsible examine the text to see wins. They question motives to determine if they're warranted know how to use sense that is in them justify positions. Responsible readers therefore set aside their own belief and consider what a text has. This is hard. Our worldview shaping text. According to research from 2008 and to people who think sex in high school curriculum, school curriculum, it shows kids who take a delay sexual act. They might claim the research is worse. This is research. It does not what they believe. Charts teacher who continues relation even after consistently reveal not improve writing and who wonders why student writers. Readers understand that intellectually and emotional students who merely pass their looking for the details that will help this test will be surface level readers, be readers who examine what them, who consider what there's, who understand in the shaping of our democracy. That said, a text is without merit if responsibility to response and respond acted. Our thanks to Kylie. If you would like to learn or purchase either the print of One Kids Can't Read to Heinemann.com. Heinemann Publishing.